Yeah, so when I was a magazine athlete, when that was like the big part of my job as a pro athlete was people were reading the magazines when they're in the bathroom taking a dump. <laughs> bikes for about six years now. <laughs> Changed my life for the better. <laughs> Welcome mountain bike fans to sunny and warm Sedona, Arizona. We are here for my first ever Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. Um, Sedona is one of my favorite places to visit. There's beautiful terrain, um, epic rides, and it is just a great place to come. Escape the cold wintry weather of the Pacific Northwest. Not this year. So, I decided last minute to uh, come down to the bike festival by myself. Didn't bring any fancy camera crews or guys along, so bear with us. We're going for a GoPro ride through the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. We're gonna meet up with some friends, say hello to some of the brands that are here, uh, showing off products, doing demos, and give you guys a little bit of a ride along on some of our favorite trails here in Sedona. Stay tuned. Andrew from Maxis Tires. Hello, hello, how are you? Well, you know, it's just uh, supply and demand, right? And you know, we're obviously a big uh, supplier to the OEMs as well as having to keep the aftermarket happy. Just really trying to make sure that, you know, the smaller brands we deal with have the product available. And, you know, if anything else, I can't help them with anything else, but I can at least help them with tires. And, you know, just trying to make sure, keep everyone happy, keep everyone stoked on the brand. How, how are you guys internally dealing with like, how do we prioritize this? How do we, you can't keep everyone happy, but like, what are these conversations like? It's just about balance. It's yeah. like, it, you, you're not gonna make everyone happy all the time, but if you can make at least as many people as you can and try at it, whether that be, okay, we, weighing the, okay, yes, we have that OEM demand, but let's not forget about the aftermarket. So again, just balancing it out. Yeah. Have you got any advice for for people out there, customers, whether it be if they find a tire, buy as many as they can, or you got a, any ideas on when no, shit might get back to normal? No, it's not toilet paper. So yeah. I don't really recommend hoarding anything. <laughs> I mean, that, that goes from you know anyone who's purchasing 20,000 tires to two tires. I think try to leave something for everyone. And you're thinking what? End of the year, maybe stuff might get a little better? I think slowly but surely you'll start to see it since we're post holidays now. You'll okay. see, you know, availability increase. We've definitely seen containers coming in a lot more regularly. So yeah, um, I'm definitely thinking that slowly but surely things will regulate. It's just like all bubbles burst. That's going to be the kind of what we need to gauge because we don't want it to burst in our faces either. Right. You don't want to see excess inventory. Yeah. Again, balance. That's all I can say. The yin and the yang, man. All right. Cool, man. Thanks for talking to us today. Our pleasure. Have Thank a good you. rest of the show. Okay, next up, we've got a meeting with YT. Hello, fellas. How are you? Yeah. First, let's Woo! say hi to the Yoshimura guys. What's up, fellas? Check out, How hey, check out the heat. Look at the heat. We brought the heat this morning. Dude, I'm, we're going to need a lone wolf one. Yeah, for sure. Heck yeah. Have a good day, guys. Yeah. Stay warm. Okay, we are uh, heading into the YT booth right now for a meeting this morning and uh, gonna show you guys some sweet stuff. What's up, dude? Setting up bikes or what? Yeah. All right, my man, who are you? My name's Jordan. Where are we going? We're going back to the Airbnb. We're gonna look at some cool new bikes. What kind of bikes? YT bikes. That's all we can say. All right, my man. Yeah. So Bo? this is our Historia. Okay. E-bike specific. A um, little bit different than the story in the Arma. Uh, chrome steel shaft. It's got a negative coil in it for a little bit more suppleness off the top out. Um, yeah. This is combines all the features of the Arma and the Storia together. Hydraulic bottom out control, lock lever. Yeah. So rad. when you were setting out to design an e-bike shock what what were differences that you knew you guys needed to take um, into account? steel shaft is the biggest one right like we already have one of the biggest shafts on the market they went like above and beyond made a steel 
uh, deal with like yoke bikes, specialized stuff, uh, just make it even burlier. A little bit new piston design, flow some more oil for the heavier weight bikes. Uh, like we were saying, the negative coil in there to deal with top out events, keep it even more supple off the top. Um, yeah, just a little bit burlier version of what we offer. Okay, and how about for the forks? Uh, the forks, same thing, no e-bike specific stuff. Um, our, we've been running them on, like, on all of our e-bikes just fine. For a 170 fork, you know, handles anything. Okay. And um, no, no bush and play or other issues? No, or and we just came out with the V2 uh, lowers that have like the new bushing design. We had a little bit of problems maybe at first with the initial ones, mm -hmm. but that's why EXT is offering this upgrade to all customers, super cheap, you know. Okay. Killer, man. Well, but thanks yeah. very much. We look forward to uh, trying that stuff out on the e-bikes here soon. Cool. All right, Eric Porter, good to see you here. Good to see you too. What would you say would be one upgrade from being a YouTuber over being a magazine athlete? Yeah, so when I was a magazine athlete, when that was like the big part of my job as a pro athlete was people were reading the magazines when they're in the bathroom taking a dump. And so I'd meet people at events and I'd say, oh, I'd, I'm looking at you and I'm taking a dump. And, you know, it's a little weird at first, but I get what they're saying and uh, respect that, you know. And now that it's YouTube, we're in their living rooms. So we've moved out of the bathroom to the living room, which is a huge upgrade in my eyes. <laughs> it sounds like you had a pretty good ride today with your sons, right? Yeah, so the boys are here. This is their first mountain bike event. Uh, we got Milo and Owen here. What's and, up, guys? Uh, yeah, so uh, I've been telling everybody the events, oh, the kids are doing good. I'm going to bring them next year. I've said that for apparently 12 years now because Milo's 12. And finally, they're big enough. They can ride everything. So. I brought them here, they're having a blast. They're on new bikes now, so Owen's on a 27.5 full suspension, moving up from the 24 inch. And they love the chunk too, we don't have much of that in Park City, so they've been, it's, it's been incredible. Taking them on these trails and they're just having the best time ever and then getting free stickers at the event and meeting everybody, so it's, it's really cool to have them here. Awesome, man. Well, thanks, it was good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. All right, so Sedona has done a really awesome job of building some bike park features and stuff here um, so just on the outer end of the edge of the expo center is uh some pump tracks we got a little tot loop right here this here is the pump park and then down over there is going to be a couple of sweet jump lines oh dude here we go do a backflip <laughs> and um, yeah so you got a few really fun jump lines and little trail rips down below there and yeah a lot of fun stuff to ride so Sedona's definitely done a good job of building a really cool little bike park zone and it is a great great little venue for uh, for having this bike fest and super fun so if you guys want to come out to Sedona whether the festival's here or not, this little bike park is definitely worth checking out. Some good spots to work on your jump progression. Get a full pump track lap. And of course, check out some awesome Red Rock views. So keep making our rounds through the show and see what else we can get into. Okay, now some of you guys may know that I've got a little Grom of my own now. She's gonna be turning one at the end of this month. Just ran into an old friend of mine, Joss. We used to work together uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. It's, it's some, been a while. Publication. Joss, what are you doing now? Uh, I work for Holly Lambert Cycling. So we distribute, among other things, Kids Ride Shot. So this this is the, the pro um, contactless. Uh, this goes on and off the bike once you get uh, the headset spacer installed. We'll go on and off the bike in about 30 seconds. Uh, this thing retails for $250. This is the original uh, shotgun seat. This mounts the frame. Uh, this one takes a little bit more time, probably about 15 to 20 minutes initial installation. Okay. And then probably about five to 10 minutes once you get that initial process going. Awesome, man. Well, uh, where can people find these? Any bike shop. Okay. Good to see you, bud. Thank you. All right. so. We're still making the rounds. I gotta support my Greek people right here, okay? They got some good gyros. This lamb meat is delicious. If you guys come back and this booth is still here, or this food truck, get yourself a gyro. Shit is delicious. 
We just we just met another YouTuber. Oh hey! What's it? What's up? How's it going, y'all? What'd you What'd you get here? I just got the you know the gyro meat with the gyro with the bread around it and some veggies. Here. And it's that Ziki. And this is Ziki. You no, better I get some help. extra napkins, dude. Is a fellow facial hair guy. <laughs> that shit all over your face. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for the tip, man. Good to meet you again. It's good to see you, dude. All right. Back to work. Lunch is over. Let's go cruise around the show. In an event weekend like this. How many inserts are you putting in? Oh, uh, I think our record out one was like yeah. a little over 90. So do you guys ever like arm wrestle each other for fun to see who's got the strongest forearms? I imagine you guys got to have some freaking massively we, strong hands. We, and we, do have, <laughs> we do have some install offs occasionally. <laughs> what is the fastest that you can get this in? Yeah, like if I was calling on one, three minutes probably. No way. Yeah. Like You're so. just making a bunch of people upset and jealous right now. <laughs> there are a few, oh, we say it a million times, there's just a few things and if you do them right, the whole process becomes a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Hi Jeff, how you doing today? Very well, so good. How are you? <laughs> We're uh, here at the beautiful Sedona Bike Fest. It's glorious. You, um, I mean, what made you come down from British Columbia? You know what? You know, in the middle of... What month are we in? March? Uh, March. It, it was a little cold and wet at home, so I decided to uh, come down and get colder and wetter in Sedona. Okay, okay. I hear there's great traction on the rocks when they're wet. There is incredible traction. Um, however, I have not ridden here in the wet before. Uh, I've hardly ridden here ever before, so we will, we will see. We're doing the Shimano e-bike ride. Uh, we were going to pre-ride the loop earlier, but there was another system coming in, so we haven't done it yet. But uh, we have a few local knowledgeable people to actually lead the pack, and I'm going to ride mid-pack and motivate our friends. Uh, give them some tech tips and riding tips on the e-bikes and make sure they have a great experience and go home wanting one themselves. Well, that won't be hard to do. I don't think so. These things are ridiculous. Yeah. It's like the crack cocaine of bicycles. <laughs> Probably should leave that out. <laughs> okay, a little surprise visit with Ronnie at DVO. I hope he's in here. What are you doing? Hey, hey. fluids, you know. How many forks do you think you've serviced in your life? In my lifetime? Okay, at one point in time, I was actually keeping a tally, and at that point in time, I think it was about 10,000. 10,000 forks? Yeah. 15 years at Marzocchi. So, so I stopped counting in about 09. Have you ever got any of those fluids in your eye? Yes. In your mouth? <laughs> Absolutely. Does it taste good? I know what they smell like and taste like. <laughs> only <laughs> only Motorex fluids taste good. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> My goodness guys it is cold out here i had to hide behind a building go get another layer thank you for coming along down to the sedona bike fest i hope you guys enjoyed checking out some of the products uh talking to some people make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because one of the best parts of coming to these events is going out for rides with old and new friends so uh, we've got a highline ride along with Braden Bringhurst and a few other really awesome shredders uh, we also have another little ride along from a trail I've never done before that I'm excited to post up so stay tuned for a few more rides coming out of Sedona thank you guys again for coming along for the ride and we'll see you out on the trails direction you know at the at the Cibola and Jordan turn on you take a ride